Hi, we're Shauna and Crystal from Simple Life Celebrations, and we are starting the Minimalist Challenge that we've been talking about on our website and Facebook. Today's day one, we're working on the kitchen. My kitchen in particular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she goes first, lucky. I'll show you my kitchen. Alright, so here's my kitchen. It's got its usual stuff on the kitchen table, which makes me crazy. I'm going to start in this corner, the coffee corner, I call it. We'll see how far we get. Dishwasher's running. <laughs> we decided to start with the kitchen as it's typically the busiest room of the house. And uh, probably a good room to start in as we can get rid of lots of stuff, we hope. That's the plan. And the fridge. And the pantry we've actually already done in a previous project. There's Crystal. Alright, let's get started. In our process here, you'll see Shauna's cupboard here. Um, she's pretty good at keeping like items together, but um, not all of us are. So I would suggest taking out like items such as plates, all of them. You can see everything you have, see what you need to get rid of, what you don't need, what you love. Um, so cups, um, appliances, you might have two of something, you might have something that's broken that you've been meaning to fix, probably never will, um, anything you really don't love, don't need, don't want, um, it's out of here. So we're going to start now. So here we have um, all of Shauna's mugs and cups and teacups. Um, as well as the travel mugs, so we can we have a good um, snapshot of everything um, like, and she can make quick decisions this way, seeing the amount, the quantity that she has, and what she can get rid of, keep her favorites, the things she loves, and do the rest. Well, it took maybe about five minutes, which was kind of cool. Um, so I'm keeping a bunch of mugs that are actually my 20-year-old's sons um, because they're his and I don't want to speak for him and uh, they're not taking up too much room and I'm hoping when he leaves he'll take those with him. If not, well then they're going. I've kept this bunch because they all match and they're nice and they go with the tea pot that I have. Um, this is my daughter's and this is my other son's so those are their special mugs. We only need the three go mugs because there's only three of us that drink coffee on the go. And I got rid of all of these. Uh, again, they're just extras. I don't really use these teacups and saucer sets. And these cups are cute, but don't need them. So it feels, it feels good to get rid of half of them. It's awesome. So yeah, Shauna did very well. She got rid of 18 mugs and um, two go cups, travel cups. She kept 15 um, mugs and cups that were her kids and kept just the three travel mugs here that you see. Uh, so she got rid of probably 60%, which is really awesome. Good start to our goal for minimalism. Okay, so here we are with that same cupboard. Again, this isn't taking us very long at all. I have some empty space up there that hopefully I can use for some other things. I also moved some of the coffee stuff down into this drawer where I've been meaning to put it for quite a while. And you can see I got rid of a lot of cups. This is the drawer I use for my pots and a few other things. So I'm hoping to get rid of some stuff out of there. Say that again. This is my container drawer and Crystal just said She is pretty organized. Yes, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate a messy container thing because it makes me crazy in the mornings especially so I try to keep this one fairly organized so probably don't have to do too much in here. I have to show you Shauna at work here because <laughs> seriously when it comes to my kitchen, you'll see that I am not as decisive at all as her. 
She just quickly picks it up, looks at it, see? Yeah. makes a decision, it's gone. I'm not quite like that, but I will do my best. Check out this pile over here. This so far is everything she's getting rid of. Awesome. Check it out, party people. There is, like half of this huge pot drawer is now empty. I'm pretty excited about this. You excited about this? Oh yeah. Hey. Where do you drink? <laughs> so, that looks awesome. Here is Shauna's kids cupboard, as she likes to call it. So Shauna, tell me a little bit about this one. Well this one, obviously it's down low so the kids can get their cups so they can drink, but my kids are now 10 and 11 and are almost as tall as me, so this really isn't necessary anymore except for when Crystal's kids come over, so <laughs> I'll keep a cup for Noah. There you go. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, the popcorn bowls and the water bottles, we need to just get rid of some stuff there. Okay. To get stuff we don't use very much. So. Awesome. See you in a minute. Check it out. <laughs> we have one shelf which actually there is still a bit of room here. And whoa, lo and behold, <laughs> an empty one. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you over here. That is plum full with stuff on the side there that Sean is getting rid of, so awesome job. So at this point we're an hour into this and we've done, what, one cupboard and three we've done drawers, two cupboards. The upper cupboards. Them two drawers and lower cupboards. This lower cupboard. And now we're on this one, which is actually fairly clear, so probably won't take long at all. This is kind of the everyday cupboard with uh, the everyday dishes. Some of them are in the dishwasher right now. Um, but obviously if they're in the dishwasher, dishwasher, they're ones we use all the time. So we'll keep those. But there's a few things I want to get, out, get rid of out of here too. So we'll see how, if we get a bare shelf again. Okay. So we got rid of a few glasses um, and one of the rice cookers because I certainly don't need to. And some broken plates, chipped plates. Bolts. It m might look like there's, you know, we quite a bit, but we emptied the dishwasher <laughs> to, to make sure we knew everything that Shauna had. So there is space up there though still, so that's great. Yeah. She got rid of quite a bit. Now the next cupboard, I might move some glasses from over here into that space. So probably the drink glasses up into that top corner or maybe the soup bowls, I'm not sure yet. And that last cupboard took, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, that's, that's included on loading the dishwasher. Yeah. So this is probably a tough cu cupboard for me because it had the china in it and I'm still not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. I just don't, I know that I am not a china person, so I'm going to face facts and not keep the china. I just don't know where to put it for now, but it's not staying in my kitchen. There you have it. <laughs> Here's my <laughs> baking slash bowl cupboard. Um, okay, back to the baking bowl cupboard. The top shelf is empty. <laughs> Vanna. And then we're going to move on to this cupboard. This is the bane of my existence, this one. Best for last? Almost last. Almost last, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing in here yet. We'll see when we pull it all out. Okay, so that's much more usable now. So in two and a half hours, we did all of these cupboards. Um, <laughs> how many cupboards? I can't remember. All these ones that we just showed you anyways. This whole part of the kitchen. Yeah. And we just have this left. Yeah. A little bit. Pretty good. We've two got, and yeah, two and a half hours. We've got all of this stuff, two bins full, and this china, 
that I mentioned. I don't know what I'm doing yet. All of this stuff. Those are the big bins. Mountain is all stuff. So, all in all, I think it was a pretty good night, hey Crystal? Yeah. <laughs>